Today, I want to talk about something that caused a lot of confusion in the audio world. RJ45 to XLR adapter. Today's video is made possible by Timu. Timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced product in multiple categories. They offer free shipping and free return for up to 90 days. You can get a $5 credit on your next purchase if you have an item with a late delivery and their price protection policy cover you if any item that you order drop price within 30 days. You can request a partial refund. If you download the Timu app via the link in the description and search for my code DPV2765, you will get a $100 bundle coupon. As a disclaimer, yes, Timu did send me all the items that you will see today, but nobody changed in and they do not have any influence on my opinion of the product. Now, back to the video. Hi everybody, my name is Guillaume. I'm a live sound engineer that runs this YouTube channel where I talk pretty much about anything that could be interesting for you if you are in the world of live sound, live production. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. And now let's talk about these box here. XLR to RJ45. This is confusing for a lot of people because this is not a converter. This is an adapter. You see that we have four XLR male connection here. And on this box here, we have female adapter with a little patch cable of RJ45. This is a fully analog system meaning that we are only using the twisted pair inside the RJ45 cable. So the category cable here doesn't really matter. And when you connect the two together, you just have a male to female XLR snake. Do not confuse these box with something like a Dente adapter. This is a passive point to point system in one and out one or the other way around because you can have two male or two female box depending on what you want to do. You can also use uh, XLR adapter to quarter inch to it's, it's, it's this is this, this, this is just analog. There is nothing to it. The box inside is just an RJ45 that has wire coming out of it and they are soldered to XLR on the other end. No conversion, no nothing. You cannot use these box with any kind of network equipment, meaning you cannot send signal into a switch. You cannot send signal from this to AS50 to Dente Ether Sound. Those are just adapter. People get confused about this because they use a Ethernet jack. It's not because we're using one type of cable here that is used for other protocol that you cannot use it for a different purpose. RJ45 are a really good conductor for sound. When uh, you start to measure the difference in impedance and resistance from a typical Cat5e versus a regular run-of-the-mill XLR that you would find anywhere, the resistance is probably less on your Cat5e than it is in your mic cable. So when you have long run of sound to do, if you need to send signal really far away, I'm talking about 100 meter, 200 meter, 300 meter, basically there is almost no limit at the length of the cable you can use in this particular scenario because it's not network again. Pretty much as long as you have connectivity, it's gonna work. You're gonna lose some IN information after a while. It's just nature of the beast. By the way, if you are interested in that, Dave Rat has a really good video where he sent XLR signal over something stupid like a mile long or like three kilometers of a Cat6 cable. Uh, you can do the same thing here and your result will be pretty much the same. You would just lose some IN information after a while and the more you're going to add up cable, the more you're going to lose strength of signal and at some point it just become nothing. But you need to have stupid long run before you lose signal where when it comes to network, Dente, AS50, anything, over around 100 meter is pretty much the max length that you can run. Another difference here that we have versus the digital option of 
RJ45 box is because here this is analog, we can be creative with these things. Meaning, if I have two box, I can use adapter, XLR adapter. I can use other box and I can create, if I want to, female to female adapter and maybe use turnaround like I'm doing right now and do a two male to female adapter. You can basically build your own and these box in particular do not have in and out, but some other product out there have RJ45 connection on both sides. So they basically become in and out. So you can daisy chain them as much as you want. You could have one box here, one box on the other side of the stage, use line one for one microphone, go daisy chain to another, use line two and three for a vocal and acoustic guitar. And after that, having at the front of the stage, another box going and have four as you, another vocal. And you can build basically your own custom sub snake with different drops on the stage. I mentioned that these box do not have an in and out, but I'm pretty sure they can be modified really easily. Actually, let's open one up just to see what's inside of these. Once I take the screw out, we can reveal what's inside here. It's just a PC board acting as a adapter. The overall build quality of that PC board seems to be fine. Uh, one thing that I must point out is I don't like PC board for this kind of box build because if for some reason you end up prying on one of the XLR, you're gonna rip it off of the board. Uh, I know you're gonna tell me just be careful with your stuff, but accidents happen. You know, people on stage can for some reason step on the box and it will break the internal of this uh, PC board. If that ever happened, you can probably fix this easily by just removing the PC board and soldering everything to the RJ5 connector. It's not the easiest soldering job ever, but it can be done fairly easy if you ever solder before. So these box can be fixed, which is something that I approve. Everything that you see here today, not the coffee mug, was uh, supplied by Timu. If you guys are interested in acquire any of the item that you see here, could be the quarter inch to our adapter, could be the box, male, female. All the link will be in the description down below. Until the next one, I want you guys to please take care of yourself, and I'll see you all later.